Good afternoon. My name is Dominic Bullock. Can you tell me your full name, please? Manon Leuten. And can you tell me where you're from? From Brussels, in Belgium. May I see your identification, please? Thank you. That's fine. Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Let's talk about what you do. Do you work or are you a student? I'm a student. What I've, do you study? I've just finished high school and I want to study communication. Why did you choose this subject? I think it's a quite large subject, a really interesting, so I want to study that. What do you hope to do when you finish your studies? I want to become an event manager in Brussels. Why? Um, I, I like to organize events, so I, I think it's a good job for me. Let's talk about numbers. What kinds of numbers do you have to remember in your daily life? I usually remember my relative's phone numbers, such as my parents or my sisters or my home phone numbers. And I, I know it since I'm a little girl, so it's quite easy for me. Do you find it easy to remember numbers? Yes, as I said, I find it easy because it hasn't changed for years, so it's easy for me to remember numbers, uh, phone numbers or, yeah. Was maths one of your favorite subjects at school? No, not really, because I have always struggled with maths and I was diagnosed uh, with the dyscalculia when I was a child, so it was really hard and it's still abstract and difficult for me nowadays. Yes. Is it important to be good at dealing with numbers in your studies? Um, I think in communication it's not really important, no. Why not? Because we don't use a lot of numbers or statistics or stuff like that, so I think it's not interesting and for me and it doesn't matter, really. Let's talk about cycling. When did you learn to ride a bike? I, maybe when I was about six or eight years old, yes. Is riding a bike popular in your country? Well, it depends because th there are two parts in Belgium. Uh, the, in the north is more popular and common because I think it's less hilly than in the south. So it's quite, for the Flemish people, it's quite um, a part of their culture. So yeah, it's more popular in the north than in the south of the country. How easy is it to cycle around the town or city where you live? Well, I think, as I said, it's easier in uh, the north because they have a lot of facilities like bike paths and stuff like that. But in, in the south, it's less common. And in the capital city, the traffic is really busy. And so it's more difficult. Yes. Would you like to go on a cycling holiday in the future? Why not? Yes. It's, I think it's a, an exciting way to discover landscapes and, and to admire nat nature. So, yeah, why not? <laughs> now, I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Here's some paper. Thank you. And a pencil for making notes. And here's your topic. Please don't write anything on the booklet. I'd like you to describe something you enjoyed making by hand when you were a child.
All right? Remember, you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Yes. Uh, when I was a child, I used to spend a lot of time with my grandmother and my grandparents, with my cousin, and we really liked to cook uh, pain perdu, which is a um, famous breakfast in Belgium and in France. It's made of milk, bread and eggs. And I also like cooking brownie. Uh, and during my free time, I really like cooking. And I think that is thanks to my grandmother because she's a really good cooker. So I, I, when I, we had um, family parties, I, I like to, to uh, prepare stuff with my grandmother and to help her to cook for cooking. And so I think I'm quite good at it, but nowadays it's difficult to have free time to, to try new recipes or something like that. So I, I try to cook and I enjoy it. Yes. Um, so another thing I really like to cook is brownie. And so uh, it's a, also a recipe from my grandmother. And I also like cooking a lot with chocolate because I'm from Belgium and I think it's part of our culture. So I also like cooking um, like Nutella, but homemade. And I think with, um, with eggs, sugar and uh, chocolate, of course. Did you often make things when you were a child? Uh, yes, as I said, I, I enjoyed cooking, so yeah, I like uh, uh, bake cakes and brownies and things like that, yes. Thank you. Can I have the booklet and the paper and pencil back, please? Thank you. We've been talking about something you enjoyed making when you were a child, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider, first of all, children and making things. Well, what are the kinds of things children in your country often make by hand? I think the main uh, thing is uh, cooking and also um, necklace or stuff like that, yes. And why is it, do you think, that children enjoy making things by hand? Because it allows us to, to use our hands and to create something. So I think it's better than to watch a movie or to be on social media, for example. Why? <laughs> because nowadays it's, we, we use too much, I think, our phones. So I think create something is really different from that. And... I think it's really nice and it, yeah. And um, do you think that making things as a child benefits people in adult life? Um, yes, I think that it can help us for creativity maybe. And yeah, I think it can help us. In what way? Um, for example, if you want to study uh, fashion or art, it can help us and because we know that you are an artistic person or something like that. And going on from that and thinking about traditional handmade items, what are the most popular traditional handmade items in your country? For example, paintings or um, textiles or handmade items? I think a lot of people try to make bags on their own or also food is, local food is really popular, so yeah. Why? Because um, we, we, we tend to, to buy more local, so if it's made in Belgium, people really like it. And um, well, why is it, do you think, that people apart from just food, often prefer to buy traditional handmade items? Because it's made in, in our country and so we know that it's a good quality. And, yeah. and do you think also because perhaps they're easier or even better? 
sometimes? Uh, I think it's better for the environment because we don't have to bring it for another country. So yes, I think it's better and we tend to try to use more local uh, things such as bag or food. And um, how important do you think it is for people to continue making traditional handmade items? Uh, can you repeat the questions, please? Yes. How important do you think is it for people to keep making traditional items and maybe teach their children to do so? Because, as I said, we tend to use a lot of our mobile phone and I think it's yeah, it can help our creativity and share a moment together with our family. So I think it's really important for behavior and stuff like that, yes. Do you think some of these skills are being lost in our modern world? Yeah, I think so. Um, because everything is, is made from robots or in f manufactories and less handmade, so... Why is that? Why are so many more things made? Because we use more technologies and robots, so yeah, we, we tend to use less our, our own hands to create something. Why do you think people want to use robots? Because uh, every, companies can't afford nowadays to use only humans and not robots because it's, it helps uh, our jobs, it makes our job easier, I think. So it's, I think it's a good way, but also a really bad way because we can, it can remove our, our jobs and we need to, to, to work, so, to earn money, so yes. Thank you very much. That is the end of the speaking test. Thank you.